Hello, I'm back, baby. <clears throat> ah, that didn't feel that didn't feel substantial enough. I'm back, baby. Hello, hello. Let's do something cooler. Now. I'm back. All right, I just watched that footage back. Delete it. Horrendous. So, what's up? I'm back. It has been a handful of months since I saw you last. I wanted to do the comeback video from the trail. It took me a while to <laughs> get back out to the trail, but I'm here now and look at it, it's beautiful. I'm in the desert. Look at this, stunning. Having the time of my life out here. I'm really enjoying it. So life is a little different now since I last saw you. I have a child, I have an infant son. His name is Otis. He's an absolute legend, Gotis, if I may. And life is, it's amazing, but it's very different, obviously. Training has been <laughs> on and off, you know? I feel like I, uh, you know, to a certain extent, he's adapting to our life, but we're also adapting to his life. And he changes so much that it's like, one week, all of a sudden he'll be on some schedule and I'm like, I can sort of like wake up and train before we have to tend to him. And then all of a sudden the next week, that stops being the case. And so I've been kind of on and off with it, but you know, I can feel myself just physically getting more and more out of shape. So I decided I got to get something on the calendar. I got to make myself, this has to be a priority. And so Cody trains his back and I got two big goals this year that I decided on. I might do some other stuff too, but these are the two big ones that I'm thinking. And one of them is already on the calendar. I'm already signed up for it. I'm committed. And it's also a promise that I made to you guys last year when we raised all that money for after school all-stars before I did Ironman, I said, I'll do a mile for every thousand dollars. I think we raised and we raised 50 K. So that's 50 miles. And uh, I think maybe some of you thought I had just forgotten about that, but I did not. I know I owe you that and I owe myself that. So I signed up for one in June. In June, I'm doing a 50 mile ultra marathon. It's a trail run. Uh, it's gonna be intense. It's a lot of climbing and it's about 10 weeks away. And so today is the first day that I'm, <laughs> I'm training for it. Is 10 weeks enough time to be fully prepared for a 50 mile ultra marathon? Don't know. We're gonna try our best and you're gonna see me every step of the way. I'm back to documenting my training and uh, I couldn't be more excited, honestly. Guys, we're gonna take a quick break from all the yapping. <laughs> Jesus, Cody trains is back. We're gonna take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is of course a company we know and love on this channel, Element. And I'm gonna sip one of these right now, I need it. What flavor do I have today? Watermelon salt, I love this flavor so much. But another good flavor that's back and permanent now is the chocolate caramel flavor. So if you like that one, you can get it forever now. Guys, proper hydration is not just about drinking water. It's about drinking water and getting electrolytes. A lot of people will supplement their water properly, but they will still lack electrolytes. So that's when you start feeling lethargic and crampy. That's where Element comes in. We got 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Pop this in here, it tastes salty and amazing, which is exactly what you want when you're out on the trail like this. And the best part is that it has everything you need and nothing you don't. None of the BS, none of the filler ingredients, no sugar, no color, no gluten. It truly is the best, I love this stuff so much. So, if you wanna try it, they're willing to give people that watch this channel a free sample pack with any order. That's eight free single serving packets with any order. So you can try every flavor or share it with a friend. Just go to drinklmnt.com slash Cody. That's D-R-I-N-K. LMNT.com slash Cody. And now back to the yapping, I guess. Oh, it doesn't do that. Maybe don't include that footage, you know? I don't want someone Photoshopping something, you know, pervs. And then the other goal I have is I want to do 3.30, a marathon in three hours and 30 minutes. I guess I should be a little bit more specific. Thrown out, running, buzzwords. I want to do 3.30. Who am I, you know? I want to do a marathon in three hours and 30 minutes. That was my goal. I, you know, I was kind of like mulling it over because that was sort of my goal late last year. Didn't quite get it. It was pretty far off actually. And this, when I started this year, I was like, oh, I'm going to do that. But I just had a kid, so I don't know. And, and then and Jeff did it. Jeff just did a marathon in three hours, 30 minutes. So now it's cemented because I'm pissed off. That's my goal. So maybe late in the year, I'm going to do that. No, I will do it. I'm not saying maybe. I'm going to do it late in the year, 3.30. I'm fired up, 50 mile ultra. 
three hour, 30 minute marathon. And here's what Cody trains is about now. It's about balancing that with having a newborn. So maybe that'll be interesting. You know, I, I think as before it was a lot different. It was just like, I guess my schedule was like kind of busy cause I like to work, but like nothing, nothing like it is now, you know, like there's nothing like having a newborn. It's like, it's hard to explain. I just, you know, it's going to be, this is going to be a uh, task in just balancing priorities and making sure that I'm, you know, absolutely not deprioritizing my family in any way, but still finding time to train, you know, which is doable. I know it is because people do it all the time. So I got to make it happen. And right now I think maybe I'm, uh, you know, I'm going easy on myself, which is what they tell you to do when you have a, when you have a child. And that's what I've been doing. But I think it's time to kind of kick my ass into gear again. You can be easy on yourself and still maintain a lot of self-discipline. And I kind of feel, feel myself slipping a little bit in that regard, you know, kind of eating however I want and not working out really because, you know, kind of uh, going a little bit too easy on myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so anyways, I'm excited. I hope you guys are. Hope you guys sign up for something and train with me. There's a, I, there's so many, I've been hit, I, I'm just, I feel re-motivated again. The speed project just happened. I don't know if you guys were following that, but my, I had a friend who just did that. Uh, that is a race from LA to Vegas. And it's like a tag team, or it's like a, you have a team and you tag off. Tag off? Is that? <laughs> tag off. What does that feel? You like, t you know, t <laughs> you do a little segment. So like you do run 10 miles and then you tag the next person in and they do 10 miles or whatever. And I think the whole thing is like 250 miles or something and it's a race. So all the teams race each other. And I had a friend who just did that and it, that I want to do that for sure. Next year, I had another friend reach out and said, let's do this race in Morocco. I think that was average Rob. I had another friend who asked me to do some ultra next year. So I'm, I'm re-motivated. I can't wait. Time to uh, bring fitness back into my life, back into yours. So um, if you're watching this right now, I hope you get outside today. Go for a hike, go for a walk, go for a bike, whatever it may be. Maybe next year I'll do an Ironman again. We'll see. And, uh, you know, part of this is I also want to be setting a good example for my son, too. I want, to, I want him to see me do these things so that he wants to do them, too. That's what happened with my parents, and I couldn't be more grateful for that. So that's the example I want to set for him, and those are the lessons I want to impart on him as well. So part of this, too, I got to get got to get going, you know, and I'm going to, I'm going to bring him out too, uh, for like hikes and stuff, you know, that'll happen. He'll be big enough pretty soon where that'll be the case. So I'm just, I'm happy. I'm back and, uh, couldn't be more excited. So here we go. 10 weeks, 10 weeks till my 50 mile ultra, just to put that in perspective for me and for everyone else. The last ultra marathon I did was 36 miles and that took me nine and a half hours. So this is probably going to take upwards of 12 13 14 hours so that's fucking intense whoops fuck my whole watch my watch was stopped the whole this whole video my watch has been stopped just miles lost to the fucking ether all right i still have people that see me on runs and shit and they go choo choo and it still means the world to me so i'm happy that we're getting this back up and going and uh energy is everything <laughs> ah feels good to say it's been so long since i said that we ascend together Thanks for sticking with me, guys, and uh, here's to the future. Choo-choo, baby. I know I already signed off, but I, I did, I did want to just prove that I did something today. <laughs> I wanted to prove to you that I'm back, so here's the stats from today's workout. Eight miles, two hours, and 1,800 feet climbed, I believe it said, so that's, I'm proud of that. That's good. We're back. That's a good start. That's a great start. I'm proud of myself. Good going. Thanks. Bye.